guys, Clue Your Hacker here, and depending on what you're seeing here, hopefully you're not seeing it too slow, I am actually using a desktop effect on my cursor. And this is kind of a rare site for Mac OS X users, but most of them know what this is. It's actually called iCursor, I believe. You know, you got to call everything i. And it's running much slower than usual because I'm recording this. However, it will be very, very fast going around, but it's kind of just a graphic user effect. It's not really anything great. It's just graphic user eye candy, basically. But if you want to get it, it is free, and I will show you how to get it. And by the way, I probably will be doing a partnership with YouTube, considering that I got lucky and had one of my videos get over 17,000 views. Hey, it's a lot for me anyways. Okay, so basically if you type in iCursor, or is it called? Yep, I believe it's called iCursor. You can choose where you want to download it. Personally, I would go to Softpedia because I trust them more. That's just my opinion. And it's really simple. All you do is hit download, and you have a variety of effects you want to use. I can just download it right here. And for example, if I want to use an effect such as, I don't know, like Smoking Arena, you can do that. It's kind of cool little, you know, just, just for a desktop effect. It kind of looks neat, and you can definitely do some cool videos or something with this. It's not, it's not really, it doesn't necessarily have a point, but if you want to like have people say something it's definitely worth looking at and that's really as far as snow leopard goes I'm pretty sure that's the only you can't change the cursors look which is kind of I don't know maybe they want people to just use the standard look however now you can just go up to a person who works at an Apple store and say look ha I'm not using your standard layout here and there is pretty much basic as far as you can get on here, but you can get soap bubbles, you can have little effects. That's kind of cool looking, I think. And you can also customize your effects. It's very similar to something in Ubuntu, I forgot what it was called, but something in Linux, they have something very similar to this. and. That's basically a cool little effect you can get. Um, that's all I have to show you today for a quick video, but there will definitely be more videos on here. And like I said, if I actually do end up getting something on YouTube, my 36 subscribers, hopefully I'll get more. Um, thank you guys for watching this video, and definitely subscribe. I know it's a basic video, but there will be more today. So this is just a quick video on how to basically change a and do an effect on your Mac OS X default cursor, which you can just, like I said, go up to an Apple Store employee and say, ha, huh, how did I do this? And you can just point them to my link. So thank you guys for watching this video, and definitely subscribe.